So today I'm going to do a comparison between two of my favorite low drop, non-plated, up-tempo workout and race shoes. Uh, I definitely am a person who prefers low drop shoes. Uh, I run in shoes that are zero millimeters of uh, heel to toe drop up to about a six millimeter. It's about as high as I will uh, go. Just uh, I find my stride is better. I don't over stride as much. I don't hit the ground quite as hard and I, I, I have less injuries that way for me personally. Um, so the two shoes I'm going to talk about today I have the Ultra Vanish Tempo and the Topo Cyclone 2. The Vanish Tempo is a shoe from Ultra. It has uh, 33 millimeters of stack height in the heel, 33 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot. As you can see, it's a very rocker design, which uh, really lets you roll through it through your heel strike, through your foot strike very well. Uh, it has their Ego Pro, Pro midsole, which I find very bouncy and fast feeling. Uh, they say it's a slim fit. Ultra comes in three different widths. They have the slim fit, which is their most narrow. They have the uh, standard fit, which is medium, and their original fit, which is their widest. Uh, this is the slim fit, but it actually feels more like a standard width. And I think part of the reason it's not a problem for me is this upper is extremely soft and stretchy and uh, it feels more like a standard width on my foot. If anything there's maybe a little extra material in this uh, upper so uh, but anyway I have really enjoyed these shoes um, they have the Ego Pro midsole I have run as I've run speed workouts in them I've run uh, 5k's but my real preference for these with the extra stack height is probably half marathon to marathon and beyond distances. Uh, they still make me hit roll real nice and move quickly. Uh, very comfortable. They have a thin tongue, a nice heel collar. Uh, anyway, they have felt really good. In comparison, the, the Topo Cyclone 2 does have a 5 millimeter drop. It's 28 millimeters of stack height in the heel, 23 in the forefoot. It has an all P-Bax midsole, uh, which is extremely bouncy. Um, I would actually say it may be slightly more bouncy than the Ego Pro in the Ultra. It also has a very rocker design and is very fast feeling. The, uh, flexibility of the Vanish Tempo is pretty flexible, but these are extremely flexible. Uh, I will say that the the weight is a little bit different. They're both advertised as being very lightweight shoes. The uh, Vanish Tempo is rated at 8.2 ounces in a men's size 9, and I have measured them in the running store, and that's really about what they are. But when I go up to my men's size 11 and a half, Mine are coming in at more like 9.7 ounces. So as they get bigger, the weight definitely goes up pretty quickly. But they still feel light on foot. Uh, but then by comparison, the Cyclone 2s are rated, they're say at a men's size 9, they're like 6.9 or 7 ounces. When I put on my, my scale in a size 11 and a half, I'm getting 7.4 ounces. So they are definitely, so they're over two ounces lighter and I can feel it holding them. But these are a good bit lighter. Uh, I have found that I'll, I'll, most days when I'm going to do a, a speed sort of workout, I'm actually grabbing my Cyclone 2s. Uh, I've used them also for several 5K races. I could see myself definitely racing a 10K or maybe a half marathon in these shoes. Um, I find them extremely comfortable.
probably a half marathon and up beyond the 10K, I tend to lean toward the little bit more substantial, a little more cushion of the Vantage Tempo. Uh, anyway, both very comfortable shoes. I enjoy them a lot. Um, it's just uh, thought you might be interested in my comparison. Um, again, it kind of looks, it depends on what you're looking for. If you need need zero drop, you go with the Ultra. If you need if you need a little bit more drop, you would go with the Cyclone 2. Um, if you need a little bit more drop, but you need the cushion of the Ultra Vanish Tempo, then I would look at something like the Topo Spectre, uh, which is also a very good shoe. But uh, those are just my comparison. I really love the lightweight of the Cyclone 2, but uh, both very good shoes. I use these Vanish Tempos in my recent half marathon this past weekend. They worked great. Uh, these have about 200 miles on them just over uh, they are starting to wear a bit but still good shoes uh, I only have like 80 miles or so on my Cyclone 2's but because uh, I kind of saved them for my workouts and faster short races anyway that's just my thoughts I hope you found it interesting if you like the video please consider hitting the thumbs up the like button if you're interested in any more of my videos uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Keep moving.